people welcome back to my YouTube channel. I remain my humble self, Comrade Ace Group Paul, Evergreen, the Amiable Pharmacist. Today we'll be discussing on the, those topics that students find difficult. We'll be concentrating on the biochemistry, BCH, the various pathways in biochemistry. There are a lot of pathways in the bio, in BCH biochemistry. These are these the gluconogenesis, glycolysis, the pentose phosphate pathway, the electron transport system, TCS cycle, and what have you. But for you to understand all these pathways, you don't need to know the first thing first. When you are, you are able to get and understand the first topic which leads to other topics, the other pathways, you will see pathway as a walk over. Now, what is this topic? We first of all look at glycolytic pathway, glycolysis. Some say glycolysis pathway, can call it glycolytic pathway, glucose metabolism. What is this glycolysis? When we talk about glycolysis, glycolysis, what is glycolysis? We'll be taking this course, this topic, smoothly, and we will not rush, so that our viewers, the students, and every other person, will be able to understand the facts. And once you get these facts, my brother, all other pathways will be a walkover. When we consume any food that gives carbohydrates, rice, yam, and the rest, after this food that is being metabolized, the end product will be glucose formation. This glucose in the body has an impact. It is in this glucose we derive energy, the body derives energy for its daily activities. The brain makes use of the calories. Once this glucose is released, once it enters the body, once it goes direct to the blood, there, series of things happen. And this, our body system, has a way of regulating many things in the body system. When there is higher concentration of glucose in the body, it will lead to that condition known as hyperglycemia. And you know what that means? The person will be down with diabetes. We get to that. Then, if there is excess glucose in the blood, the body system has a way of regulating this, converting this excess glucose into what? Glycogen. This glycogen is a stored form of what? Glucose. It will interest you to know that glycolysis takes place in the what? Cytoplasma. That is why they call it cytoplasmic pathway or cytoplasmic pathway. Now, when there is low concentration of this glucose, in the blood, what happens? The, glu the glycogen will be broken down to give rise to what? Glucose, which will be pushed into the blood once again. And there, metabolism continues. Metabolism continues. Then, in order to define this glycolysis, when you hear glycolysis, lysis, lysis means breaking down. Glycolysis, lysis. It is the breaking down of glucose in the cytoplasma to yield pyruvate, which is the end product of what? Glucose metabolism. Before the production of this pyruvate, 
glucose will be metabolized to yield a 2-3 carbon molecules. It is these 2-3 carbon molecules that will give rise to the production of pyruvate, which is the end product of what? Glucose metabolism. Now, what are these steps? There are 10 steps in glycolytic pathway. 10 steps in glycolytic pathway. In these 10 steps, we have two phases in glycolytic pathway. You note the points. There are 10 steps in glycolytic pathway and two phases in glycolytic pathway. The phase one and the phase two. Just like in the business, before you make your income, before you get your profit, you have to invest. Once you put into the business, you'll be looking forward to generating your income, which should be either a positive or a negative, depending on the market. Now, the dream of every businessman is to invest and make profit. And before you make profit, profit, you need to invest in the system. Why am I saying this? This first phase is called the investment phase. In this phase, we'll be seeing ATP being invested into the system. That is adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. A higher energy compound, molecule. What is this ATP going to do? Whereas we are trying to generate energy, we are trying to give out energy. Yes, if we give out this energy, we then look forward to, give, to getting higher energy. You put in one, looking forward to getting two, and that is what happens. The phase one of this glycolytic pathway is called the what? The investment phase. Then the phase two, what is it called? The phase two of this glycolytic pathway is called the payoff phase. This is a phase where we get the benefits of what we invested. Are we, are we getting the profits? Are we losing? If you lose in your business, it means nothing was done. But if you get a profit to the glory of God, but the dream of every businessman is to make profit. The dream of this glycolytic pathway, this glucose metabolism, the investment of the ATP is to generate more energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, which is the ATP. And that is why we call the second phase the payoff phase. I told you I will give you the, bre the breakdown of how all these things come into play. You will get to know how to know all these enzymes, how they came into existence, why did they act here? You do not need to cram. I told you I will not be teaching you as your teacher in the school, nor as your lecturer in the school, in the universities, but as a brother in a, in a, in a manner that will facilitate your understanding of this topic. Now, we have step one to step five, which makes up the words the first phase from step one to step five makes up the words the first phase. Then we come to step two. Sorry, the phase two. The phase two is from the 
the sixth step to the tenth step. This is the payoff phase. We are looking forward to generating energy in the world in the payoff stage or the payoff phase. I told you we will not be rushing anything here in the channel. We will be taking things gradually so that we get to understanding the facts about this glycolysis and this glycolytic pathway. Now, when we have all these things noted, this pyruvate will be produced. Once this pyruvate is being produced, there are conversions of the pyruvates to yield other energies. What does what is the fate of pyruvates? That is, after the production of pyruvates, what is now the fate of pyruvates? We will still get to know that in an anaerobic system, in aerobic system. What happens to pyruvate? That is fate of what pyruvate. And once we get there, we have known everything about glycolysis, or glycolysis pathway, or glycolytic pathway. And bet me, you will be a fire fire in pathway. Thank you once more for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Do well to share this link to your friends so that we will discuss and learn together as one family we are one people subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on other social media handles click on the notification button so that you get notified anytime i upload now if you are interested having known the topic we are about to discuss or the topic we are discussing if you are interested in the quiz competition, send a text message to 080-34-35-5708. Test us your location and tell us you are interested in this. And from there, we await the end the ending part of this lecture then we call you all for this quiz competition thank you and remain blessed